become the stuff of legends told in fearful mortal whisperings around the world by kin. sacrifice some of my life essence to go in here. Oh, I don't see why not. Who or what is that? The deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of Death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades... Um, hello? May I ask who's calling? Um, have we met? to extract the benefits a few chambers from now.
found. This can unlock something back home. has a new effect. All right, Doomstone. I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Sounds like good company to keep. Wears. Wretches. Infernal Troves.
better help. Well, that's better. And my keep. It's far enough. about to get a whole lot stronger. Within the underworld's quietest, most solitary, darkest abyss lies hidden evidence of the beginning of all things, of chaos, the most ancient sculptor that has shaped this world. I'd best take all the evidence I find. Master Chaos, everyone makes offerings to my relatives upon Olympus. I wish to make an offering to you. Thank you for everything. How cruel of you to make attempts to tempt me with material things. You then, please in turn allow me this attempt at reciprocity. Master Chaos, thank you. In the name of Hades. to reach you with my blessing, nephew. Such strange alliances we forge these days. Just 
what I need. Hey, good to see you out here, mate. It looks as though you've got some fine wares up for sale, don't you? you doesn't mean they're getting involved with this, does it? You don't know who or what you're dealing with. Ask Nix about them for me sometime. Here, I'll give you a chance to ask her very soon. Did you enjoy the stint in Tartarus?
see you, Tartarus. And check. Asphodel. Burn flingers. She's always singing. Someone there? From within a humble residence in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lorne Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly, much like Prince Agrius. No. You watch yourself, old man. I'd say make yourself at home, hon, but you look like you got cooler places to be. As you wish, your royal majesty. Ooh, that's good. Bye. Careful, hon. Let's see here. flame and ashes of the river Phlegathon mean nothing to the ferryman Charon, who travels all the waters of the underworld bearing the dead, the damned, and all their fineries. I do enjoy dead people's fineries.
puts me to see how far you've come, cousin. And I am confident that you shall make your way eventually. I shall look forward to our conversations then. Nice. stronger.
Ah, oh, that stupid Hydra. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Wonder what jobs the house Prince. contractor has available. Achilles, have you ever run across the shade of Daedalus in all your time? I found some of his legendary hammers out there, but no sign of him. I've never met him, no. Your father keeps him fully occupied with building out his underworld and renovating constantly. No wonder some of his old crafting tools are strewn about. I take it you've been able to make use of them? Indeed I have. How goes it, Shane's? Guess what, boy? Made it all the way to Asphodel last time. I fully understand how come you never liked it there. Now to trek on back, I guess. Take care. <laughs> Despite the Underworld Prince's optimism, his old companion Cerberus, the multi-headed hound, maintains a somewhat sulky attitude for now. I mean, old father's nice to you at least, isn't he, boy? Records indicate that you've collected earnings based on some of your accomplishments there, boy. I suppose you need an income of your own, having decided to cut ties and all. What, you mean the bounties that you've offered up to anybody capable of beating Meg and all your other guardians out there? Don't you think that puts a lot of undue pressure on them, knowing that you've turned them into targets? They must do better than they have, else they shall be replaced. If they're to grow in their respective roles, they have to know their weaknesses. And so do I. That you collect the bounties for it matters not. Be sure to add those to the list of words you'll eat someday. Enough. Get out. The underworld could always use a little extra renovating, right? You are distracting me! Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. Leave me alone. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Nix isn't around. I want to go lie down. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the Prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He 
ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. Is the note written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard Hades I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place so I'm leaving even if it kills me I won't be returning to Olympus if there is a place where I belong in this world it must be somewhere between heaven and hell perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But father always said that Nyx was m that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Something new in store for me. Hey, uh, something back there for you, pal. Another weapon. Need to find a key. Gotta say, you're really getting somewhere, boy. Oh, I'm pretty impressed here. And they don't even pay me to do that. I'm just supposed to stand around. Appreciate the vote of confidence, mate. Maybe you're right, and someday I'll get out of here. Hey, if I never come back, you won't just be stuck here forever, will you? <laughs> That's a good one. No! Probably not. Wasn't anything in the old contract about that. <laughs> My blade. The chambers of Tartarus have probably all rearranged themselves by now. That kind of hurt. 